Hello everyone, this is Richard, and I am back with episode 2 of my um, Project Zomboid series. And here you can see I have two copies of this, because again, I had to back it up. So we're going to play the, the original, and let's just start this up. And um, I think I failed to explain very well the um, log in the previous episode, but basically there's a log behind the game itself. And it'll just tell you when it's finished loading. If you've played it, you probably know what I'm talking about. Though I think it even says it loading here. Yeah, I can click to skip this now. So, we're going to go right from where we left off. And I'm still trying to play fairly cautiously, but this is actually Tuesday. So it's only a day after I recorded the first one. And um, it's 5.30, so it should be good outside. Let me just make sure there's no zombies in the immediate area. But I realized last episode, I think we never looted the refrigerator in that um, house over there. And I think that would have a lot of food. So hopefully we can go find something from there. Cause I, and also there was some dried food, I remember, that I saw, that I don't think I saw in the previous episode, but I know was there when I rewatched it. And basically there's chips here, and there's instant popcorn as well. So what we really want to do, though, is get as much dried food as possible, because once the power goes out, which I think is actually zero to two months, so it can actually go out, I think, at any time. I'm not sure. But the latest it'll go out is after two months. So I guess we need to be prepared to fight this zombie. And let me just take them down. And that still takes a fair amount of hits. Hopefully we'll level up our um, skills soon. Which I think is this. And then skills. Yeah, hopefully we can level up our blunt. We only need 44 more points. How many zombies have we killed? Okay, yeah, we can probably level it up just killing then maybe 14 more. But I'm not really trying to kill zombies at this point. I want to go to that house and get the stuff in the refrigerator we missed. So hopefully there won't be a ton of enemies here, or zombies. Obviously the enemies aren't very diverse. Yeah, and this, there's this handy button called Loot All. It's really good for refrigerators. It generally doesn't work for much other stuff, because much of the time there's nothing really good to loot. Let's check out the shed, because it could have something handy in it, like a saw, or an axe, because we'll really need to get into carpentry soon. So let me check if there's a window. Yeah, because I'm afraid I could draw zombies fairly easily doing this. Oh, and I see a sprinter. Wow, I drew a pretty good horde here, so... Maybe they'll get confused around the farmhouse there. I'm calling it a farmhouse. I don't know what it actually is, but... Yeah, that noise draws a fair amount. Wow. I don't think I'm actually aimed at them. Wow, yeah, there's a good chunk here still following me. Wow, that was a lag spike. Crap, sprint. And can we take both of them down? And hopefully we can take that one down. I'm kind of exerted, so up. Oh, Uh-oh. Crap, I don't want to get bit. Wow, he's not really strong at the moment. Of course, that zombie's like moving at a snail's pace, so it's not really an issue. So I think that was all of them. I wonder if we've leveled up our blunt yet. Okay, nothing good on them. So let's go with skills. Oh wow, we're nearly leveled up. So I want to go check out that shed. Hopefully we can go through the window, because we that beating on that door really drew all their attention. And I'm trying to... Oh, there's one. Wow, that's not doing too well. Okay, that should take him down, yeah. And still got nothing. So I think there was a window here, yeah. Pretty sure there was one here, I think. No, maybe there wasn't. Let me just take a look there. I don't want to make sure none of them trees. And hopefully there won't be an alarm. Is there actually anything to loot in there? Okay, let's turn around. Use E, by the way, quickly close things. And that wasn't much. We got five nails. That'll be handy for carpentry later, but... Yeah, there's nothing on the table that you can loot. So I'm just gonna open... I'll leave that actually open so that we know we've looted it. And I'm just trying to get all the easy zombie kills here again, because I want to clear the population of zombies out in the immediate area as early as possible. 
That way, if alarms go off for stuff later down the road, we're not quite as worried about a huge infection. So, this is the last day before I go to the beach, and um, because of that, there's not I didn't record as much as I intended to, so this is actually being uploaded, going to be uploaded on Thursday, even though it's actually being recorded on Tuesday, and then when I get back on Saturday, I'll record a um, another video. Let's go eat, because it says peckish, and I can use this to drink. But I'll record another video. It'll probably be a Lord of the Rings mod video. I got, I think, around 40 views or something on, um, well, 30 or 40 views, I think, on my video. And let's put all this in the refrigerator. So where is the fridge? Okay, here it is. I got around 30 or 40 views, I think, on the Project Zomboid video I uploaded, episode 1. So I don't know if you guys want me to continue this series, but I'm trying to do some other videos besides just Minecraft, and I've wanted to do that for a very long time. Of course, I'm still not stopping the Minecraft series, which is why I uploaded a, um, which is why I uploaded the um, Hardcore Survival on Tuesday, which it's already been uploaded because I've been record I'm recording this at around 10 o'clock, and I have try and schedule my videos always to go live at 8 p.m. But if I record them that day, then I can't sometimes do that, because what I tend to do is record a video during the school week when I get home from school. And then wind up not start, and then doing my homework, and then starting rendering around like, um, think generally right before I eat dinner. And then, of course, it takes forever. It doesn't take a whole long time to render, but then I usually get distracted and don't start uploading it till like 7:30. And then for some reason, YouTube never processes my videos. It takes incredibly long for it to process it, even though my internet connection is quite good and I get them uploaded quite quick. Oh, I remember looting this place before. I don't think it had much good stuff in the past, but I guess we can check it out. I don't see any zombies in the immediate area. Hopefully there's no alarms. can't imagine a place like this would have alarms, but let's hope there's none inside. No, looks clear. Okay, there's nothing in there. Oh, but we do have more nails, so we definitely want to grab those. I guess there was nothing handy in that crate. And we already checked that shelf. That's the bathroom, so I don't think there's any point in looting it. And there could be zombies inside. Okay, we'll grab the kettle so we have another thing to fill up with water. I guess we'll grab a TV dinner. Although we need to cook it. Um, the noodles will be fine if we can eat them as long as we have water. I mean, I assume you could put water on them. I don't know. Let's see, what else? I'll grab the seeds because we always need seeds when we get into farming later. And I guess we'll just pull back on here and hope there's no zombie inside. Maybe there's pills or something here. Well, we have an extra sheet. I guess it can't hurt to have one. But I'm pretty sure we don't need any more. And I'll just leave that door open so we know we've checked it out. So I'm trying to think if I have anything else I could really talk about actually. Oh, some other series I want to start. I do want to start back up. Some of you may have remembered that I did a Sims 3 Let's Play, a or started it a while back, and then never really continued it. And um, I'm probably going to restart that, because I bought an expansion pack when it was on sale for like 10 bucks. It was like, think the Ambitions pack, and they had it on sale for only $10. So I probably might even do it then in whatever town came with that. I can't remember what town came with it. Oh, and also, I um, I got CSGO, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, about two months back and could never get it to work. And then I recently was able to get it working on my computer. Let's hope there's no zombies inside of here. And um, I start, I've started playing that. There's blood on the wall. That's probably not a good sign. I started playing that, and um, I'm not that good at it. I'm still pretty much a noob. But I might do a few videos on that eventually as well. Oh, let's grab all this. And then we'll probably check out the upstairs. Hopefully there's no zombies there. And, um... Oh, wow, there could be something in this dresser. Let's take it. And then we'll head back home, because I don't want the stuff to go rotten. Oh, 9mm rounds. Do we have a pistol? I'm pretty sure we got a pistol earlier. Or did we? I don't know. Well, either way, it can't hurt to have some extra bullets. And let me check out this bathroom. Bleach, obviously we're not really interested in that. Another sheet. I don't think we'll really need any more sheets, so I don't really want to take it. I'm just hoping there'd be some pills in the bathroom. There's lots of blood on the floor, but there's no zombies in here. That's odd. 
Maybe there's something good in here. A duffel bag. I don't know if you can have another duffel bag, but I'll grab it just in case. A golf club. Baseball bats are better. Sleeping tablets. I guess that just makes you sleepy if you need to like adjust your sleep schedule. They weigh like nothing, so we'll probably start like in our bathroom a pill box or something. Because what I really want to do is spend some time getting organized. Did I never eat something? Maybe I never, yeah, I never ate when I went to the house. I just think I drank and put the stuff in the fridge. So then we'll probably head back and put the stuff away. And that probably will end today. I don't know. Maybe I'll just loot one more house. I don't want to be taking a ton of unnecessary risks, but let's hope there's no alarm. Okay, good. There's no alarm. And... Okay, let's see. There's something in the refrigerator. Let me grab that. Loot all. I don't really like having all this perishable food, though, because, of course, once the power stops working, that could be an issue. So we'll take advantage of this and drink right now. And... There can always be stuff up. Uh, I was hoping there'd be something good in the dresser or the nightstand. It's a nightstand. And let me pull this back. For some reason, my E key is not working. Is there anything good in the bathroom? I don't think... Yeah, there's nothing good in this bathroom. Let me check these. Did I check these already? Okay, I did not. Ooh, hammer. We gotta take that for carpentry. Because now we got hammer and nails, all we need to do is beat down a um, door or two, and we can start barricading our, our house up, which we definitely want to do. And I'll grab seeds, because they weigh like nothing, and we can store them in our house for when we start farming. So, that was definitely a fairly good loot run, I think, for our second day only. Now, I just need to figure out how the way was back. Let me zoom out. Oh, okay, so there's the farmhouse. So, yeah, we know our way back from here. I kind of like this area that we started out in, but I kind of don't. I like it mainly because we've got a pretty good fence around it, and our area is pretty secure to begin with. But I don't like it because it's not very dense, which I guess at the same thing, at the same time, it's good that it's not dense because then there'd be a lot of zombies. But it's really hard to find a lot of houses to loot, and once we loot the first few, we'll be kind of out. Okay, drowsy. His sleep schedule must be really messed up if he's tired. Oh, uh, there's a zombie there. I don't like any of them near our house, so. And, come on. Nope, still nothing good. Let me just check all around the house, and then we'll put that stuff away. Because I want to put the food in. I want to make sure it doesn't rot. Also, one handy thing is just use, like, W WASD all the way around sometimes to get, like, make sure you're not, there's nothing in any angle. Oh, okay, there's another zombie. It's like, I wonder if they have, like, AI that just tells them to walk to this corner. It's like they're trying to ambush you as you come out. It's very odd. So let's go back in the house. And I guess day three, like, tomorrow's mission, like, next episode's mission, hopefully I'll remember, is to go knock down a few doors. Well, this is the bathroom door, so we could actually knock that down right now, but I just want to quickly transfer all this stuff. Is there a way to, like, shift-click? Yeah, you can select only certain things. So we're just going to use shift-click and do that with all of these and put them in the refrigerator as well as the pie. And that should be everything. Okay, we need that as well. And the um, the ramen noodles definitely don't need to be in the, put in the refrigerator. And I guess we'll just put the seeds here then, maybe. Oh, I should have grabbed a can opener. I thought I saw a can opener. I should have grabbed that so we could eat in the canned soup. Well, not immediately, but later. And I'll put... Do we have anything? Oh, we don't have any place to store stuff in our bathroom. That's annoying. Now it's saying hungry, so we'll, we can just uh, just eat something from the refrigerator now. And I think there's a bug that if you eat like a quarter or a half of something, it never ever runs out. Peckish could do with a bit to eat. Like, let's eat a half of this. And let's eat another half. Does it go away? Nope, it never runs out. 
So I don't know, there's some bug with that. We might eventually just eat all of it just so it doesn't feel cheaty. But that's fine that he's tired since he's only going to be in the house and we need to get our sleeping schedule right anyway. So I'm going to stay awake for a fairly long time just so that he wakes up at like 5.30 or 6 when it actually turns the light again. So we're trying to take down this door to get some planks. And then we can barricade... Um, yeah, he's going to get pretty tired from it. Yeah, but then we can grab the plank and we use the floor to grab it, I think. Oh, wow, we dropped two planks. So we can barricade some of the windows. And what I try and do is generally just barricade every window with one plank, and then I try and do additional. So, like, the first window we want to barricade is this one. So he's going to put out, get out his hammer, he's going to get out the plank, and then he installs it. And I just want to put the baseball bat and we are going to check real quick to make sure there's no zombies outside. And I'll show you, you can see there's like a little plank against the wall there. And we'll barricade this one next. And you'll see there's a little plank there. And I think you can barricade each window up to four planks. And I don't know if we gained any carpentry XP. Okay, we did. We gained three from it. Oh, we can level up our blunt now. So that means that we'll strike a little harder when we use baseball bats and frying pans. And that'll be pretty good, because we can take out zombies easier. So I guess we need to go drink some more water. No, keeps like accessing the oven. Okay, let's drink the water. And I guess we sh can go to sleep. I don't know if there's anything else I wanted to do. Let me just make sure my inventory is clean. Well, what the heck, I can't use the scroll bar. That's odd. Okay, now I can. And you see it actually expended two of our nails doing that. So yeah, we don't have a pistol as far as I can tell then. Which is annoying, but I guess we'll have to make do without a pistol. Oh, we do have already ten... Okay, let's put some more ammo in there. And then we'll try and definitely find a pistol. Because it's always a good idea to have at least like ten rounds with you. Even though it does draw zombies, but in an emergency you want to be able to use the pistol. So let's sleep and... I think that will conclude tonight, or this episode. And we're still healthy, it doesn't look like we're infected. If we got nauseous, then I would know we got infected from losing health there. But I think the um, thick skin save us, saved us last episode. His sleeping schedule is still odd, he woke up at 4.10, but I guess that's not quite as bad as waking up at 3, that he did before. And it's raining. So I guess that's where we'll end this episode. Um, thanks everyone for watching, Richard out.